Hi guys. Um, so as we're waiting for our components to come in for our solar system, we've been tackling some extra little jobs that we've been wanting to face. And do you notice anything different? Um, I'll let you see what Randy's up to. Hey, All of this six foot four. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful six foot four too. Uh, I'm just building in around this chair. So we abandoned the other chair because of the seat belt. So the way to get the anchor up there and body blah, blah blah was like ridiculous. So we switched out the chairs to this one that has the built-in seat belt. Which was kind of um, cool because we took the bus for a drive the other day, actually yesterday, and then went by this by the salvage yard and we found this beautiful, almost brand new looking chair. So, right? Yep. So now, it, um, the cool thing about the other one is we, we still are able to have the swivel off of it. So this chair will still swivel. So we can swivel it in there and use it. And that's critical for the way, because of the way we've been using it, we know that that really is used. Because it adds another person to the seating in the bus. So anyhow, I'm just building up a little base down here. Shelly said just mock it up rough, but if it turns out okay, it'll be good enough to put the stuff on. Well, part of the problem too is um, we love this chair, but it elevated me up about four inches, three inches, and my feet weren't touching the ground anymore. So, um, Huh? People are trying to float around with their feet off the ground. <laughs> I do it all the time, right? So here's what we've got going on, guys. This is just a simple box. Mm -hmm. I got great connectors in there, and I'm going to screw all these joints together, and then I'll put a deck on here, and we'll be able to put shoes under here. And because we cleaned out all the crap that was underneath there that was unnecessary, we can actually put a, one or two pairs of shoes underneath the seat. Yeah, look at all this space that's under this seat. That's what's up, YouTube. Yeah, here it is from the back side. Look at this. I mean, look at that. Hello. <laughs> so one of the things that I've always done, or I usually do, I'll just screw everything together and pre-drill the first board so the screws don't split and everything works nice, you know? And then if you want to change something, you can just unscrew it, trim the boards down, make whatever changes, and if you're careful, you can, sometimes you can put it right back where it was. Guys, he has done this our whole married life, and what's funny is our two sons now do the same thing when they build something, I love it. But here's another angle for my chair. Look at that. It's all, I mean, we haven't done anything except for clean it up. It's all beautiful. Okay, he's cut the lid for the box. The whole concept had been to have it be a box that we could open up and then store shoes or whatever underneath the seat. What do you think, honey? I think I can put the hinges on like that right there even though that leaf is lower and that'll let it come all the way back over. You know, you told me to get rid of all my Sharpies. Uh-oh, so now you don't, I have, I, I got no Sharpies in I box. kept one. <laughs> YouTube, he is a pack rat when it comes to Sharpies. And you know what happens? They all end up here in the bus, scattered all over the bus. And so I gather them up and put them in one little container for him. And then he packs them back into the shop and they get packed about back out into the bus. Oh honey, I think this is gonna work out even better than what we had hoped. We're still not sure. Um, we had originally wanted to put, or I should say I had originally wanted to put a little side compartment over there under the window. We're still not 100% sure if that's gonna work out, but 
I do know this chair is very comfortable and the fact that the seat belt is already built in and it works beautifully is a bonus. I don't see why that won't work. That will work. Yeah. And it clears. I mean, it ain't properly installed, but it's out of our way. Uh-huh. And my feet won't hit on it. I think I'm in far enough you won't snag your foot on it. Mm -hmm. So let's just try it like that. Yeah, we were really trying to watch. So when you came into the bus, this wasn't sticking out too far in our um, pathway into the bus. So, and we still wanted to keep the look of the threshold. It's coming together, people. This, this is going to work, I think. I think so. These screws are a little bit long, but I'll just grind them off with the angle grinder. That's not lazy. Okay, are you ready? Uh-huh. You think it's going to clear? Do, 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 do. It clears. We already know it. Yeah. I'm going to big it. Oh, lots of room to spare. Oh, look, look at that. You can come all the way over. And then look at all this storage that we have under here. Okay, beat it, people. Take one. <laughs> I like to put shit on the floor and Shelly likes to <laughs> I like to it move it. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, this is going to be much better. Yeah? Because before, see, my feet were dangling. Oh, this is going to be nice. And the other thing that's really cool about this, you know, I don't think I'd ever pull it up this far, but look at this. I could come way up and then just let my feet dangle. But, yeah. It's very, very cool. Very cool. And um, we still have the option of swiveling. It's got a big swivel, too. You can go clear around into the room. So... See, that's about as far as we could swivel because now we're hitting the table, but it becomes part of our living environment. It's awesome. So, kudos on this one. For me, yeah, back over this way, my feet are going to dangle a little bit, but it's at the right height to kick up and relax. <laughs> it would be hilarious if you flip that right into the... Yeah, go ahead. Kick well, it I back. Even, I don't it's, even it's know where forward. it's at. That's right, right there. Yeah, I don't want to hit the window. But <laughs> that would have been great. Check it out, people. <sighs> yeah, this is the life. This is bus life, man. It doesn't get any better than this. So it seems like this is a perfect spot to stop this video. So we're going to just... Um, catch you guys in the next one and know that we love sharing the journey and hope you have a wonderful day and stay warm and healthy and love to you all. Bye.